So, today's guest has been married, y'all, for over 40 years and is now educating couples on how marriages take work and all you can do to make it work. So, y'all, please welcome the Whitfields! Like either Dick and Deacon Whitfield or Bishop Whitfield. Which one is it? I say, how you doing, Mr. Whitfield? And he said, I'm feeling lovely. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> it's such a wonderful moment to share this time with you uh, because I've heard all of the laughter around. I've seen you dancing. I've seen you enjoying in each, each other. And to be married for so long and still have so much love and joy together is so admirable to see that in this day and time. Yes, it is. Right? Y'all must not have social media. Listen. <laughs> So, Miss Rhoda Whitfield, what is the secret to this kind of love? Well, early on, we suffered just like any other couple. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing we had to realize, we were not on that avenue by ourselves. Mm. Everybody travels down the bumpy road. But um, if I had to say what the secret is, the secret is, when we took those vows, we took those vows and we made a covenant with each other and along with God. Mm -hmm. So God has to always be inclusive in your marriage, in your decisions, in your prayer life. And so once we, I, mm. let me be transparent, once I remember to keep him in the midst of our marriage, then we began to see things change a little differently. That's beautiful. Yeah. How yeah. long into the marriage did it take for you oh. to, to put God in the middle of it all? Well, there was well, a time. Somebody say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there on. was a time that I used to say, God, I got this. Mm. Oh. You know, because I was one of those persons that wanted to say what was on my mind and whatever came up, mm -hmm. it came out. Mm -hmm. But I had to learn how to contain that mm -hmm. and realize that whatever you put in the atmosphere is not as easy to bring it back out That's as it true. is to go in. That's so true. So, I really saw our marriage take a real turn on our 25th anniversary. Really? When we renewed our vows. In the best direction? Mm -hmm. Oh, renewal. In the, in the best direction. Uh, so if you had the opportunity to be very candid with couples on how to form a successful marriage, what words of wisdom would you offer them now that you've been through that phase? At 25, you saw the change, the pivot into like the forever, baby, this is forever, ever <laughs> mindset. What would you share with other couples on how to get there, how to stay there? Well, it takes work. Mm -hmm. You cannot just go and say, I do, and expect it to go anywhere. It, it has to require you to put in the work. This mm -hmm. is not, marriage is not an eight to five job. Mm -hmm. Marriage is a 24-7 job, yes. 365 days a My year. Goodness. So you've got to always be working it. You've got to always nurture your marriage. Willing to do Listen, the work. Listen, you know mm -hmm. how they say, let's go to the bank and make a deposit? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't make a withdrawal from the bank if you don't make a deposit. That's true. So if you don't deposit anything into your marriage, you can't expect you to can't get, get anything nothing out. out. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. That's yeah. some good stuff right there. <laughs> so tell us, Mr. Mr. Whitfield, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. tell us what impressed you most about your wife when you first saw her. If we go back to the first. Yes. Uh, we were married, we were dating rather, two years in, while we were in college. Well, my wife is what we call very vocal. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned. <laughs> and so we, in the we, best way. We men sometimes want that little laid back. Uh -huh. And so it wasn't working for me. So we separated for two years. Really? Because she couldn't talk. She, I, I, she was I, talking too much. Just, just a little <laughs> bit too vocal. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we had different relationships. Mm -hmm. But first, we became friends. Mm, that's so important. And in our friendship, we kicked each other's partners to the curve. 
and then we came in. Got back together. Came back, uh -huh. came, came, back came, came back to play. And and hey, it, it's been working ever since. Friends don't hurt friends. They, they don't. don't. Friends don't hurt and friends, friends want to be with friends Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And it's awesome to be with your best friend, right? Best, mm -hmm. How best cool friend. is that? Best so what has been the most difficult issue in your 40 plus years of marriage? For for me, mm -hmm. being the man, mm. most men have issues with communication. That's Can I a, say amen? That's that's a biggie. Amen. Yes. And so we have difficulties difficulties sometimes saying what How we're experiencing yes. mm -hmm. and Expressing. what we want to say, mm -hmm. especially in those heated moments. Mm. So how did you learn how to do that? Sometimes you have to uh, take a time out. Mm -hmm. It's just like a boxing match. Mm -hmm. Go to your neutral corners. Yes. Sit back. <laughs> You have an opp opportunity to, to internalize mm. what it is I want. I want to be heard. I want her to hear mm -hmm. what I want to say. She can't hear it if I'm coming at coming at her like a bear. Correct. So that's <laughs> that part. It can't be a, like a boxing match. <laughs> that's insane. So it's so true. And do you find that the same approach for you, Mrs. Whitfield? Well, I was the one that wanted to talk the issue out right then. Oh, you didn't want to go to your corner. No. And you didn't I, want I, him to think about nothing. And, and the, re <laughs> the reason being is because, you know, I'm kind of like an illustrator of different things. Mm -hmm. So it's like putting a puzzle together. Mm -hmm. And when I'm not able to find out what the problem is or put my issues on the table, then I have to piece the puzzle together mm -hmm. the best way I can. Right before his eyes. Right. Mm -hmm. But the enemy... <laughs> So we have to keep in mind who the enemy yes. is and where his playing field is. Mm -hmm. He puts things in your mind yes. and now he wants to assist you in putting the puzzle pieces together. And the puzzle should have just been between the two of us. It's so true. Yeah. 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 And you made it over that hump. You all have made it oh, over definitely. that hump where it, nothing is there in the mind. It's like whatever you say to me, whatever we discuss, that's what it is. Right? And, and, and it's a good place to... Mm -hmm that we've been, get, been together for those 42 years, wow. so begin to think alike. Yes. Sometimes, as folks say, we finish each other's sentences. Really, that's beautiful. You know, and, that's, and that's a good thing, because we've learned through the course of those 42 mm -hmm. years, we're in this thing together. Yes. You, you know, become one for real. Absolutely. Really? absolutely. That's amazing. Really? And that's yeah. the key to it, that it takes time for that to come. To happen. And so I'm going to love you till the wheels fall off. Oh, mm. I love that. Oh, it's just <laughs> not a... <laughs> Not only that, you know, you have to think, too, you know, as you get older, you experience things in life. Yes. And it really brings it around to let you know that life is too short to let petty issues. Correct. Just grow. Grow and your, keep going on yeah. from day to day. I love uh, my mother and father, the, God rest their soul, they're both gone now. But one thing they committed to when they got married was to never go to sleep angry. Um. They never went to sleep angry. I never as a child heard them fight, argue, nothing. I never dealt with that. And I was so proud of them and even more proud of them now as when I think about them and they're gone that they had that kind of love that they figured it out and we're able to run a home and raise children yeah. that can reflect back and say, hey, I had a balanced, loving home because my parents committed to us and themselves to be in love and share that love and fix it, nurture it, nature yeah. it, whatever, mm -hmm. until the wheels fall off. And that was something that I think we're proud of, mm -hmm. that our, our kids ask us as they became adults, why <laughs> is it yes. that we never saw you have have conflict in front of us. Right. Say, no, it's not that we don't. But when we close that door at night, yeah. we have an opportunity to, to talk about mm -hmm. what we need to, to talk about to get to that point where amazing. we can agree together that this is how we're going. That is yeah. so amazing. And I, I, I stress that with new couples, mm -hmm. especially if you're going to bring children into play, mm -hmm. never let them see you. Ooh, uh, go through go that. Go through that. And that's what I was going to ask you now. Did you all have to create boundaries to protect your marriage? Are there certain boundaries that you even have with your children that you just would not allow them to Definitely. cross? Definitely. Um, you know, like he, my husband was saying, we never would allow them to see it mm. because, 
you know, may, I may not have been able to verbalize it then, but I can verbalize it now, mm -hmm. that we were our children's first teacher. Yes. We were teaching them how to be a wife, how to be a husband, mm -hmm. how to treat a wife, how to treat your yes. husband, and how not to say things that you're going to regret and want to take back. Correct. Can't take them. That's the first thing. The second thing is we definitely have boundaries with outside people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As far as family and friends, you have to be careful about what you share. What's going True. on with your marriage? You know, you you go over there saying, you know, he getting on my nerves and he make me sick. Then see, you got an attitude with him, and I go back home and kiss him and make up. Correct. Now you're still angry with him Correct. because of what I share. Correct. Yes. Because they're going to be on your side. That's right. So it's best to not share because y'all going to be fine later. It is so enlightening to sit here and speak with the two of you. Bless Please you. don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere. The Whitfields are here.